Hey y'all. This is my first recorded competitive event that I will be doing, and I will be doing it with a Rakdos deck. Specifically, Electrostatic Field. What do I call this deck? Probably Rakdos Burn. So, here's the list starting from Gitu Lava Runner. Huh. I didn't know that was in here. Oh, that's my sideboard. Okay. Cool. Well, that's not going to be coming into play this time around. So, here's the deck. It's got all the lands. All the rare lands and two guild gates. I'm only running two Carnage Carnivals because I'm sh sure it's uh, not going to be too much uh, aggro decks. And against red, it's pretty useless for turn one with the Lava Runner. I don't play Lava Runner in my main board. So this deck's basically about Electrostatic Field and burning them out. But it's also, like, got Changer's Torment and Sovereign's Bite. Here's Changer's Torment. I didn't see it for a long time. Um, it has these two cards in here so that I can gain life in response to the Mono Red, which I'm sure is going to be very prevalent in the Constructed event. This is how I'm going to draw cards. Respector. Light at the Stage, Sword Point Diplomacy, and Theater of Horrors. My other creature in the deck is the Pyromancer. Two damage just for entering the battlefield is pretty good. Save and exit. I would do the competitive meta game challenge, but I do not have the gold for it. Or the gems. Rakdos Burn. Let's play. Hoping for five wins so I can uh, buy a pack well I might go off on turn three if I'm lucky electric sack field turn two and depending on what I draw it's gonna be all these and a shock or sword point diplomacy. That was pretty good. Like lightning strike. So he's playing red. There's like no way I'm gonna block my electrostatic field. I'm I'm sure he's playing mono red, but I could be wrong. See a carnival would be nice right now. I didn't get it though. Yeah, so I'm gonna lightning strike. I could target his guy. Or I could target him. Either way, my thing goes off. I'm gonna race him for damage though. I'm not gonna defend. I am doing light at the stage instead of skewer the critics. Because I want to draw some cards. Even though my hand is basically all draw. What I meant what is when I said draw cards, I meant I want to draw mana. I'm totally shocking that gutter snipe. Oh, 
Well, if I couldn't draw land, and the electrostatic field's pretty good. Yeah, I have my triggers ordered. It's never... It's coming useful for, like, History Banalia. Double triggering. Or, with two on the field. And, for some reason, my knight has haste. Probably with, uh... I don't remember what the card is. Four mana. Gives all creatures plus one plus one. So I'm going to do sword point diplomacy because they usually give me land. But stop the other ones. So I'm looking for a red land. Anything but my guild gates. I do have two of them. I didn't get it. Oh, he's going to give me everything. Very nice of him. Okay. Yeah, usually red decks stop the Sovereign's Bite going through. A lot of decks do, actually. Six-point life swing is pretty nice. So my real deck has gutter snipes in it. I don't have the electrostatic fields. I just ordered them today. Well, he got me down fast. Uh, he can have the cards. He can't play them this turn, and I'm hoping to win next turn. He doesn't have the man to play the cards, is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to say good game now, because it's basically game. If I don't win this turn, he wins next turn. I win this turn, though. Alright, round one. That's a card I got four of. Maybe. I never really bought packs of M19. I probably bought three of them. When I was looking for a land. Yeah, this deck really needs three mana to work. Three mana in the early game, four mana. Turn four. <laughs> I am only playing 22, though. So, sometimes I have to mulligan. I am going to keep this. Mana. It's like the exact opposite of mana for this deck. So I didn't shock his land or elves because, well, for one, I forgot. The other reason is I want to play light at the stage, so I'm hoping I draw a mana. Golgari. I did draw a mana. Hippipare. So I have to do damage to get the spectacle trigger. I don't know if it's a trigger. It's probably a trigger. That's a good draw. I can play but both of those and light up the stage.
gain some life. Switch places. Draw some more mana. Good draws. I'm going to play Sovereign's Bite right away because I don't need to burn anything on the field. He's in a graveyard that. Seven point life swing. So, the only reason I wouldn't block a Golgari deck is if he has status statue or bigger creature than my 4 toughness guy. That works. He's only doing 6 damage though. I wasn't going to lose the next turn, but I was going to lose in two turns, and I couldn't win the next turn. Uh-oh. Block the guy with the biggest toughness. That makes sense. That's not a good draw. A mana would have been a good draw. Give me everything. There's no reason for him to not give me anything. To not give me everything. But he fucked up. So I'm really hoping he doesn't draw a. Wow. I'm really hoping he doesn't draw an explore creature. Block the troop this turn, a little diversity in my stuff. Wow. See how this goes. Alright. So I can do two damage with the carnival, three damage with the risk factor, or I can do four damage with the carnival and lose. So I'm going to sword point diplomacy. So if he gives me any of these spells, I win. And he has to give me one of them. He actually has to give me two of them. I wonder if I said hello to him. Could have showed off my carnival, but I didn't. That was close. One life. It doesn't matter if you want to lump one life or twenty, you still win. All right, so let's see. Six hundred gold. I have nine twenty-five. So I need to win six games to buy a pack. Wish me luck. Because at this moment, you know as much as I do. King Joker. Good luck, man. Good hands.
So I have ten black sources. Mana sources. I drew one. I don't need to play it yet, though. So I'll, I play this. He takes two damage. Then he either bolts it or I block one of his creatures. Or I do tons of damage with it. And even those options are fine. Looks like I'm doing damage. <coughs> Blood crit tapped, because I don't need to do anything with it. And I can save that till the end of his turn, if necessary. This deck has a lot of sorcery speed, and I, I also play a lot of uh, counters. So I usually play like Risk Factor on my turn. Yeah, I'm gonna bolt him. Not his creature. Because he's gonna be playing creatures just from now on. And there's no reason for me to attack or block that guy. I do want a creature. I've never attacked with Chainer's Torment. The horror from it. And that turn. So I can do 8 damage. And he's at 11. 8 damage next turn. No reason to give him more land. There we go. I win. That's 11 damage in my hand. Well, that's 9 damage in my hand. Three wins, no losses. Alright, that's another vault point. Or point one of a point. Alright, one more and I break even. Three more and there's a pack. Nice name. No one mana spells. So I've been having this dilemma where I go first turn, I have Carnage Carnival in my hand, and I don't know what they're going to play. Really, the only first turn play that I know where Carnage Carnival comes in use is Healer's Hawk or Llanowar Elves. So as always with this deck, not as always, but quite often I'm hoping for mana. But a carnival would be nice. That's also nice. And I'm going to attack into him, because I don't care if I take damage. If he was smart, he would block. At least according to, like, the theory of magic. Unless he has that in his hand. <laughs> So I have a dilemma. Do I kill his creatures or do I kill... I'm definitely bolting, shocking him. I think I'm going to skewer his chain whirler. So that thing is a uh, beast. And I'm doing damage anyway. Discounted Lightning Bolt, Skewer is Burns. Yeah, I don't block. Skewer is Burns. 
green card. I'll take that damage. He's probably gonna skewer me. Or lightning bolt me. Wizards bolt me. Yay, mana. Doesn't really matter, though. I am at 8 kind of low. If he has tons of shocks in his hand, that's bad. So, let's gain some life. Yep, taking the damage. Going to four. Mana would be nice. I win if I draw mana, actually. I didn't, though. So I'm blocking no matter what. Doesn't matter. Now. Yeah, good game, man. Oh, I didn't actually have to do that. But hopefully he would have, like, lightning bolted me in response. And then, like, if he bolted me in response, then I would have won. But if he had it in his hand and waited for me, yeah, that would have been bad. So actually, I do only need five wins. So the way I earn gold in this game, other than birthday presents and Christmas presents, is I, I play every quest all day, and I buy a pack, and I play one tournament. Sometimes I'll play multiple tournaments if I'm feeling it. Never really works out, though. Law, law of large numbers is there's really good people out there. Alright, let's light up the stage. I don't really need anything but more cards and less mana. Alright, let's hope he plays a creature. Any creature would do. He didn't, though. I'm a sword point. Hopefully he takes all nine damage. He's not going to, though. He's playing Jeskai. At least... I don't know of many four-color decks that play Hollow Fountain and no gates. All right, shock that thing. Go back to twenty life. And light up stage. The order I should have done it is Sovereign's Bite, light up the stage because of exactly what happened. I just drew a bunch of land. And then shocked him. The. Talic. Let's get that guild gate out. Pyromancer. I probably should have shocked his hero first. Look at that. So much land. 
on a 22 land deck. But hey, that's the draws. Yeah, I'm definitely blocking that. Can't give it for a strike. Jeskai aggro. Cool. Let's get that guild gate out. That's six mana, so I don't need to play any more mana. I, pl I play with a max of six mana on the field so that I can discard my mana to risk factor. I wonder what he was thinking when he... When he attacked with Italic into my... Dude... My pyromancer. That was weird. Oh. She just didn't care. Yeah, I concede. I can't win against that card. Four wins, one loss. Not bad. It's actually really good for me. Don't downplay that. Your heart. Heart. Your heart. This hand looks very familiar. I'll shock him at the end of his turn. Maybe he'll play Lanawar. Or Healer's Hawk. Yeah, probably Healer's Hawk. That's just as bad. I don't have any Legion landings. I don't buy Ixalan. It's going out of fashion soon. Standard fashion. Mm. If I had a black mana, I'd be totally happy doing this. I'm not exactly happy doing it right now. I probably should have waited till his turn. I'm just so used to playing all my stuff as sorceries. Well, Burst Factor's coming out. I'm probably going to discard that Mountain Bird on my next turn. I'd much rather draw black, though. Sovereign's Bite into Skewer's Critic. Alright, that's really good. I'm super happy about that. Alright, here we go. Respector, he's gonna take the damage, I'm sure of it. Now the question is, the pride made of the vanguard? We'll go for the pride mate. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the pride mate. He's so low, though. Eeny, meeny, miny. That's no way to decide. Yeah, I gotta get the Vanguard. He's gonna be gaining life. He, he'll gain easily three life off that. I did have six mana damage in my hand, though. So he gets seven. Swing five. Oh no. That was like the last thing I wanted to draw. Even a guild gate would have been better than that. But I've got a few turns. Things can happen. Let's play Shalai.
I'm not conceding because why? I don't know. He's about to do 11, 12, 13 damage. Oh, good game. Good game. Didn't need to play the marshal, but he didn't know what I had. I could have had a bane fire. So I recently won a constructed event, all seven games. I I probably lost two, maybe one, but with a Jeskai control deck I have. So I'm gonna play that one next. Ah, oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. I'm definitely gonna play the Rakdos Guild Gate if I go second. But if I go first, I'm going to play the Mountain and deal with the Guild Gate later. the wrong card. Shocking light up the stage. Shocking two butt at the stage. I'd rather have done the carnival. But I like having the Mind rot with a bolt on it. Cool. I like that. Electrostatic field. Well, guild gate into electrostatic field. I might take out one of the. Rakdos Guild Gates and add in the swamp. Might just play 21 mana. I've definitely played this guy before. GN. This guy's playing at least, is it? Totally possible he's playing Jeskai or Tamur. What would, would be the other color? Grixis. He could be playing Grixis too. As soon as he comes back, I'm going to say hello. draw. Not playing it, though. I don't know. Which one's the better one? I like this one a lot. Did my computer freeze? Well, it's not frozen, but I lost connection. Nothing I can do about it. Could exit the game. Just hop right back in. Oh, that's weird. Why can't I? What's going on right now? 